Following the conclusion of the uh, Denisa Denmark Open, there's also a new uh, ranking list in terms of World Tour Finals qualification. And let me just quickly explain how the World Tour ranking works. It only includes World Tour tournaments, that means Super 100, Super 300, Super 500, Super 750, and of course the uh, Super 1000 tournaments. Uh, all points for play tournaments are accumulated, so it's not the 10 best tournaments or a specific number of tournaments divided. It's all the tournaments you play within the World Tour that counts towards the final ranking. The amount of point that is awarded for each tournament is similar to the ones for the World Ranking List and the eight highest ranked players and pairs uh, when uh, the uh, qualification period is over is qualified for the World Tour Finals. There is one thing though that only two players and pairs from each country can participate in each discipline. Normally it has been uh, so that the world champions, the reigning world champions or the reigning Olympic champions are uh, awarded a wild card for the World Tour Finals. That's not the case this year and that might have some serious impact. So let's take a look at it. So first we take a look at the men's singles. The number one on the uh, race to World Tour Finals ranking is uh, Victor Axelsen. He didn't participate in uh, the Nisa Denmark Open. He had surgery on his ankle and he also became a dad during the tournament. Anders Antonsen moved up from uh, seventh place to second and uh, also the other finalist Rasmus Gimke uh, moved up uh, quite significantly to number four. But remember only two of these three Danes can participate in the World Tour Finals. Thus, number nine on the current ranking list, Ang Kalong from Hong Kong, is qualified. We can also see that uh, Chu Tianchen uh, moved up significantly to uh, number six, whilst uh, Srikant Kidambi uh, moved up from 14 to eight. One of the uh, significant things in uh, this uh, men's singles ranking is that Kento Momota, number 33, he only played one tournament this year, that was the Malaysia Open. And uh, since the ranking is only uh, a short version of it, there's been this seven month hiatus and the only two tournaments left is the two Super Thousands to be played in Thailand just ahead of the World Tour Finals. There's very few tournaments left, only two actually, and even if Momota wins both of these two tournaments, he might not make the final eight for the World Tour Finals. Also, uh, uh, jo Jonathan Christie, Anthony Ginting and uh, Chen Long are in uh, dire straits and might miss um, the finals. Victor Axelsen, as I mentioned earlier, sitting on uh, top of the table is safe. He's qualified. The only thing he needs to worry about is if Rasmus Gemke and Anders Antonsen both passes him after these two uh, Super 1000 tournaments in Thailand. So let's go to the uh, women's singles world tour standings. Carolina Marin is um, sitting on top following her uh, runner-up in um, Denmark Open and we can see that Nosomi Okuhara, she made a big move from number 12 to number two. Carolina Marin is already qualified for the world tour finals so she will definitely be playing three tournaments in January. In terms of um, the other qualification spots, uh, Akane Yamaguchi uh, fell outside of uh, top eight and uh, will definitely be chasing that last uh, qualifying spot. The same goes for the world champion PV Sindhu, who is somehow suffering for not um, being awarded this wild card as a world champion, however, she was the world champion of uh, 2019 and uh, got a wild card on that occasion. But we can see that it's um, it looks difficult for, for PV Sindhu to uh, qualify for the World Tour Finals. Uh, she needs to win three more individual wins in the two tournaments compared to Yamaguchi and also Tai Su Ying and An Se Yong. She needs three more wins than two of these three players.
in uh, men's doubles. Uh, the Russians, former All England champions, Ivanov and Sosunov, they took over uh, the number one spot and a tremendous jump from uh, Marcus Ellis and, and Chris Langridge, the winners of um, Denmark Open. They uh, go all the way up to uh, number four. Other significant things we can see from this um, men's doubles world tour finals ranking is that uh, the Danes, Astro and Rasmussen, they missed an opportunity uh, losing in the second round to, um, to youngsters uh, from also from Denmark. And we can also see that Endo and uh, Watanabe at uh, 25th, they are in dire straits and uh, it's looking really, really difficult. Uh, for them to qualify for the World Tour Finals. In women's doubles, the uh, All England winners and Denmark Open winners, Fukushima and Hirota, they um, took another climb up the ranking and is now on uh, top of the World Tour Finals ranking. Um, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith from England reaching the quarterfinals also uh, jumped up to top eight from uh, a place as number 11. And it will be very, very interesting to see if they can make it to the finals. It's going to be a very, very close race. And they're, in my opinion, going to be in a uh, direct battle with the, either the Stoeva sisters or the world champions, Matsumoto and uh, Nagahara. Linda Effler and uh, Isabel Hertwig is currently amongst the qualifiers, but I think they're going to be uh, in danger as um, they normally haven't really... Uh, been regulars in quarterfinals and onwards in the uh, Super 1000 tournaments. In mixed doubles, number one is still Marcus Ellis and uh, Lauren Smith, even though they lost in the uh, semi-final of uh, the Denmark Open, they're actually certain of qualifying for the World Tour Finals. It also looks good for Mark Lamsfuss and Isabel Hertrich. They can still be denied in theory, but um, uh, I think they're pretty safe uh, sitting at uh, number two. Uh, the married couple, the Adcocks, they took a gigantic leap from 21st up until the um, sixth spot on this World Tour Finals ranking. Uh, and um, they would uh, be looking uh, for their chances to qualify for uh, the World Tour Finals and gain some much needed ranking points there. Another thing to notice is that uh, the Olympic silver medalist Chen Peng Soon and um, Gold Ying, they are in uh, in dire straits. They are down at uh, number eighteen, and they also have two Malaysian pairs in front of them. So both need to improve their current ranking, but they also need to pass at least one of their compatriots um, whilst moving into top eight. So that's how uh, the movements were on the uh, World Tour final ranking list after the Nisa Denmark Open. There is. Uh, one more uh, Super 100 tournament uh, this year, to, here in 2020, that's in one week's time in Saarbrücken. But that tournament will not count towards the, the World Tour Finals in uh, January. The only two tournaments where you can gain uh, ranking points is the two Super 1000s played in Thailand in January.